Even a broken clock is uh, right twice a day. And so I was interested in this analysis from CNN on the historic levels of support the Republicans are getting from black folk under Trump. They are perplexed, <laughs> the folk at CNN, uh, but they acknowledge this is a seismic shift. And more than that, it's not just that Joe Biden is losing ground, it's that Donald Trump is gaining ground. You go from 7% single digits at this point in 2020 to now 21%. And again, John, I keep looking for signs that this is going to go back to normal, and I don't see it yet in the polling. If anything, right now we're careening towards a historic performance for Republican presidential candidate, the likes of which we have not seen in six decades. Look at black voters under the age of 50. Holy cow, folks. Holy cow. Look at this. Joe Biden was up by 80 points among this group back at this point in 2020. Look at where that margin has careened down towards. It's now just, get this, 37 points. That lead has dropped by more than half, Mr. Berman. Home. I, I, I just never seen anything like this. I'm like speechless because you always look at history and you go, okay, this is a historic moment. If this polling is anywhere near correct, we are looking at a historic moment right now where black voters under the age of 50, which have historically been such a big part of the Democratic coalition, are leaving it in droves. Josh, uh, Donald Trump has launched his Black Voter Coalition group. His campaign is saying historic rates of black voters are now behind the Republican candidate. And if those CNN figures are accurate... Uh, What's that going to mean for the Democrats going forward? They have just relied on getting 90% plus of the black vote for decades now. Yeah, you know, Rita, I, I'm trying not to laugh too hard over here because uh, Harry Enton is the CNN <laughs> data analyst that we just saw. I've actually known Harry since he and I were both 18 years old. He and I go way back. He's probably the only straight shooter at CNN. He, he is not a far left liberal guy. He calls it like he sees it, but Harry knows his audience and he knows that the CNN audience is a liberal audience. So he's just, he's just trying to do what any good television broadcaster should do, which is just try to be very honest with your audience. And here, honesty means that Joe Biden's intersectional co coalition is falling apart. Black voters are peeling away at, at record pace for very simple bread and butter reasons, because the economy in the United States has never been good. Bidenomics, they tease it out like a wet balloon that went absolutely nowhere last year. They haven't talked about Bidenomics since November. They, they For a little while, that's all I talked about. Then they decide that they couldn't bamboozle Americans into thinking the Bidenomics was anything other than a stink bomb, so they let it go. Inflation, of course, reached 9.1%, a 40-year high back in the summer of 2022. The economy formally entered a, a recession back in that same year, 2022. So black voters are peeling away from Joe Biden for the same reason that many underrepresented minorities, Hispanic voters among them, are peeling away, which is that they don't like the way that the country is being governed right now. And if these numbers are real, mm. and as Harry said right there on CNN, we have every indication to believe that the shift actually is real, especially for young black men. Young black men are now supporting Trump 25, sometimes even 30 percent in polls. That could easily could easily make or break the election when it comes to states like Michigan, Georgia, North Carolina, Pennsylvania, all of which have sizable black populations there. But the broader point to read is that the entire post 2008 Barack Obama, Joe Biden era Democratic Party, which is built on the house of cards of intersectionalism and identity politics, it's all falling apart right now. There are they're stuck between a rock and a hard place when it comes to the Middle East conflict. Obviously, they can't make the Arab voters in Michigan happy, but then they can't they can't make the jewish voters happy either or the majority of americans who support israel for the matter so everywhere you look this whole identity politics thing is falling apart for them and you know frankly as a conservative i kind of love to see it <laughs> and you're absolutely right about this intersectional coalition falling apart because it's not just black voters leaving the democrats there are increasing numbers of uh, other ethnic groups including hispanics who now prefer trump to the democrats a number of polls have shown a majority of hispanic voters backing the republicans and a new poll shows that a majority of registered voters from all backgrounds are now in favour of mass deportations of illegal immigrants. Uh, according to a new YouGov poll, 62% want to see mass deportations. And that includes, Josh, a clear majority of Hispanic voters. 
And I've long said that Hispanics will become part of the Republican base. They are typically socially conservative. They're aspirational. And the Democrats have really little to offer them at the moment other than victimhood and pronouns. Yeah, look, I, I live in South Florida. I mean, this is kind of the epicenter of, of the Hispanic part of America moving to the right. I mean, Miami-Dade County, which is the most populous county in, in all of Florida, you know, Ron DeSantis won that by double digits. In his gubernatorial re-election 2022, mm. he won Miami-Dade County, which is a 70% Hispanic county. He won it by 11 points. Marco Rubio, our senator here in Florida, won by 10 points. And a lot of people look at that and they say, oh, it's Miami-Dade County. It's just these Cubans. They're all conservative because they're fleeing the Castros and communism. It's actually not true. So in Osceola County here in Florida, which is a suburb of Orlando, heavily Puerto Rican county, Puerto Ricans historically a very, very liberal demographic here in the United States, Osceola County, Florida, actually voted for Ron DeSantis and Marco Rubio as well in 2022. You know, going back to 2020, even in heavily Mexican South Texas down in the Rio Grande Valley, you had 90 to 95 percent Hispanic counties like Star County, Texas, Zapata County, Texas, mm -hmm. which some of some of them were actually outright breaking for Trump. But then Trump was actually very narrowly losing others by single digits. The broader shift is happening. And like I was just talking about with black voters, it's the same thing for these Hispanic voters, Rita. They don't like the way the economy is doing. They want their communities to be secure they want people to be able to walk the streets safely without fear of being mugged and they care about general public safety and deterring violence just as much as white voters or anyone else so i am not surprised to see these data points but i certainly do hope that they are giving democrats a lot of heartburn